Hey guys, I'm at the house now. I thought I'd start with my potatoes. I will also say if this video looks a little clearer, it's because I've got this new phone case. And uh, it's one of these kind where you got kind of the full body around it. And the guy's just been building up dirt in there. It's supposed to be one of the finest, but it's a pain in the butt. It lets a lot of dirt in there. So I took it off and wiped it off so I could see myself through here. So, let me show you the potatoes, and I'll show you the progress that I've made. Okay, them guys were planted on February the 24th. I put them into the bucket, and I will tell you that I probably the dirt was about at this level, okay? And I stuck my hand down in there to my wrist. So the potatoes are probably in this general area. Okay, and they've grown up that tall. Now, these are the russets that are from my grocery store. They probably have the growth inhibitors or whatever it's called. They've been sprayed so they last longer and all that. But they're still making. Now, they're shorties compared to the other. These are also much longer uh, time period before they get ready. So, these guys, they were organic in a little sack five pounds for a couple dollars i think it's 3.99 and all of them had eyes on them let's see here i think this is yukon gold i got a sign in there i just keep stuffing all that hay in there and i've put some compost but the same deal the dirt was down probably about right in here and i stuck my hand down to my wrist so you're you're guessing potatoes are probably that deep and look how tall they've gotten they're doing so good and look so healthy and full in there and the same with the reds same setup so they have come a long way dad burn the red ones over here are really kicking butt and looky here this is something oh that damn it those darn snails have ate my everything up i had to get some sluggo stuff for them guys i don't like that but they were eating all my strawberries and so i got fed up with it but anywho there's my potatoes they're doing really good so february 24th to april the 6th they've made that kind of progress and i'm just tickled about it you can see my green beans are coming up in most of these this one nothing yet I don't know why. Maybe I didn't seed that guy because not even one came up in it. And my other ones, they're all coming. So they're doing pretty good. And you'll see, if you look close, my compost, I threw a dadgum sun gold tomato bush in there. And all the, those little tomatoes have put volunteers in every dang pot that I got. So I'll have to pluck those guys out. And my wife has got little sunflowers her and my grandson have put them everywhere and they're just now starting to kind of take off all over the place. I, I gotta watch where I step or I'll get a spank in here. So let me see. All of that stuff's coming along pretty good. And these old onions, the green onions that got planted here a year or two ago, look at this, let's see. Come on now, focus in for me, buddy. Okay guys, I had to get kind of right up on it, but look at this. Dad gum green onions all seeding out with its seed pods. And the same thing on this one. So they're gonna seed. I'm gonna let them do their thing. Let's take a look around and see what else we can find. My wife brought all her house plants outside. These guys are just begging for some natural sunshine and I've got a little setup for water over the top of everything. So everything's gonna get watered here. My grapevine's coming back to life, looking pretty good and healthy. So maybe I'll get some grapes, or at least that thing will build up this year. That was free off the side of the road in Fredericksburg. So my kale's okay, but look at my lettuce. It's, went, it's gone to seed. Some of these little ones in here has gone to seed. It's just that time. I'm surprised it made it this far, to be honest. And I believe that is a radish going to seed right there. Got some crazy stuff happening. 
All right, and look here over here at my strawberries. I've been getting them by the cup full. Isn't that nice? The strawberries are just kicking butt right now. All right, so I got this yellow pear here. It's, uh, it's healthy, doing good. I'm fixing to have to do a little bit of trimming underneath down here on the bottom. And I'm gonna tie it up to this cage here, this uh, cattle panel. And get it running up there so I can have some little cherry tomatoes, the little yellow ones growing up and over this guy before it's all said and done. I still haven't trimmed that guy up. And uh, over here, <coughs> all right. Over here I've got some okra that I'm gonna put about where it's at right there. On the other side of the fence, I've got uh, two yellow squash there. And over here, I have already got those in the ground, the two zucchini. They made it through the cooler weather. I had some market more cucumbers planted and they had they were about that tall and the cool knocked them out. So I'm waiting, I'm gonna start some more and I'm gonna put a market more there and there and there and there so they'll be in between the okra and i'll grow them up the fence the okra will grow just on this side of them and on the other side of the fence i'll have all my squash and zucchini so that's kind of the plan right there let's check out the greenhouse i've we've picked out a couple of onions i mean uh onions i'm sorry carrots and they're not uh nothing to write home about but i've learned something this year from these carrots and that is they do need to be spaced out, guys. I, I mean, I, I cast a whole bunch in a bucket and on the ground even, and I had millions of beautiful green tops, but all the carrots were little beaners. Here, I'm gonna pull this one out just so we can see kind of how they're doing. This has been transplanted. You know, they said it's not good for you to move them once they get going, and this is why, you know? This thing's been in here since last October. It actually was on the other end of the greenhouse and I needed the space, so. I mean, this is about the size I got, and I'm surprised it got that big. But I've had a few decent carrots, but most of them, without any kind of spacing. Now, they, you see them spaced here now, but they started somewhere else. That's why they got all these hairy roots up here high and, and kind of different looking. But my personal opinion is, even if it's a real big pain in the butt, if you're going to do carrots and you want to eat them, you want some good carrots to eat, you need to spread them out. Give them at least an inch between each one. I'd say two inches maybe. And I think you'll have much better results. And I'll prove it to you this next season, next cool season when I plant some more. I'm not gonna plant any more right now. But So I got the carrots, they're doing okay. I've pulled a lot of the lettuce out because it's all went to seed and I've been giving it away to everybody who'll take some. And this one is getting tall right now. I can see the stalk in there. They were almost ready to head when all this hit, so. And the onions back there, they're, they're bulbing a little bit. They're not terrible. And they've been transplanted. So, everything's been dug up, moved around, so it's not what it could be. See, here's some carrots. They were so thick in here, guys. It was the most beautiful forest of green you ever seen. And I came through here and I picked some out, but look, this is what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? I had 10,000 of them about like that. And that's just not worth it, you know. If you're gonna waste your time planting them, you might as well take your time and just go ahead and give them the space they deserve. So I, I learned my lesson. Now, got some dill growing out here. I'm just gonna let it get big and hairy and seed, hopefully. It won't hurt my feelings a bit. And see, I got the stakes here, but I haven't tied these guys up. Just like out there at the other greenhouse at the secret garden. I need to get in here and do a, this one doesn't need too much trimming anyway. That's the good thing, but it's time to give everything their first tie up on the stake anyway. This guy now, I had to tie him up the other day. This is Aunt Ruby's German Green. This was one of my suckers. See, it's ready for round two. It's it's already gotten that dad gun big in here. Now, I'm gonna tie this, get these guys cleaned up and tied up. I don't want it bothering my little pretty citrus tree that's growing there, so. See, these onions, they're not bad. They're doing okay. That one's a little bit too much on top of the ground, I think. Got a little basil back there in the back. It's coming along. That's that Thai basil. 
and I made Ace and help me the other day, my grandson. He's bored and driving me crazy. So we walked around the yard and just put volunteers in this little thing. That many of them's made it without anything except for my little terrible misters there misting down on them. If they make it, great. If they don't, I'm sorry. All these onions that I've transplanted are trying to go to seed, I see. So I may just pick them pretty quick and make the most of it. Find something else to put in this space, getting that time now. You can see these. I did put them on the string. Not too fancy here, but they need trimmed up. I need to do a little pruning on this stuff. But that onion is a pretty good one there. It's coming along nice, so you can see. That's about the size of, it's not quite a baseball, but it's pretty darn close. So those guys, those two are really good. But they hadn't been transplanted. They've been in here the whole time. See, when you transplant them, that's when everything seems to go crazy. So I need to, in the future, pick my spots a little bit better so that I don't have to move stuff and everything will be where I want it to be when I want it. That's something on that guy. Look at them big old strawberries. The strawberries have been pretty good this year. So much better than last year. And I'm gonna transplant them little patches of them all over the place as I move on. <coughs> oh, that wood chip stuff I messed with earlier has really got my throat scratchy, bugging me. But all these are my little evergreen bunching onions. I'm just letting, I see a seed pod on one of them guys right there. So, I'm gonna let them seed and fill out that back corner. I don't ever put anything there anyway, so. Let's get out of the greenhouse, see what else we got here. All right, so, pomegranate. I got the big boy here, looks healthy. No sign of nothing, it'll be a long time before I get some pomegranates, but I've been really trying to keep this bottom part cleaned up, because I want it where I can, I may tie the four of them up a little bit, you know what I mean, bring them together with something. I can do it. Show you what I'm talking about. And just have one little tree kind of thing here with a couple of separate stems. I, I want some pomegranates. I'm tired of not seeing any. Yeah, they they uh, flower and it looks like something's gonna start and it doesn't seem to make it. So I'm hoping this year's different. And there's a little one that come off the same root system. There's another volunteer tomato here. And I've got a couple of uh, Egyptian spinach, I think, I think. They're beginning, all them little guys there, they came off the seeds from last year from that Egyptian spinach. So we'll see if it'll grow on its own, it'd be even better. Instead of me having to transplant stuff and try to grow it out. This little baby fig seems to have taken. It's gonna be okay. Give it this year to spread out. We'll see what happens. Look at all them dead gum little tomatoes. They're everywhere. I've got so many dad burned tomatoes. I have a China Jade cucumber a big one there coming on the other one is pootering out it just about gave up over there but now it's almost warm enough i can start planting them seeds in the ground now and they'll take besides to my greenhouse this one's falling over i gotta figure out a way to tie them up keep them up but you can see all my tomato plants here they're not as big as the greenhouse out there at the uh secret garden but they're not bad they're doing okay one thing that's a big difference is out there at the secret garden, I don't have a shade cloth over it. And I've just left this one up, and I'll be honest with you, I'm doing it because it seems like every time my garden gets growing, we get a crazy killer hell. And I ain't doing it, you know what I mean? I put too much time in, I just assume them grow at a slow pace and be cool in here, be hot in a minute anyway, and I'll need it. So you can see the cauliflower is going to seed and I'm allowing it. Here's the broccoli got them pretty flowers and I noticed the bees like munching out on it and you can see all the little seed pods forming on it I did get those from the secret garden earlier and brought them with me and I'll just crush those guys up and get the seeds out later got a little bit of green beans growing along there on each one of those asparagus doing just fine strawberries back there they probably need dug up and replanted they could be replanted in the same spot but they need something they're hurting for nitrogen back there. So, let's go that way. All right. These onions are all almost baseball size. Some of them are a little smaller. 
but they're all bigger than a golf ball every one of them and they're for sure about a tennis ball except for this little guy up here he's little bitty the rest of them doing great my comfrey came back with a vengeance see that old stuff look at them pretty little purple flowers hopefully the critters will be coming and drawn to it and you can see my mexican squash here starting to take on off now this fig tree's coming alive Still ready to taste my first fig. And look over here, guys. Look at all that dead gum crimson clover. I, I find it to be uh, very beneficial in a, several different ways. First of all, it does choke out weeds. It grows faster than weeds and it spreads out and it's big. And it's so dang easy to get up when you get ready to, if you don't want it to feed again. See, I've let the flowers grow on purpose because I want it to seed. When I'll get ready to plant anything in here, I just come in here and pull this stuff up. And look how easy, guys. This this is how how easy getting this stuff is. You know what I mean? It's just I'm done. You know what I mean? Great big old plant. Now I've got seed there and stuff. But you could throw that down if it didn't have the seed pods in it. And it's fertilizer. You know what I mean? Turn back into nitrogen. Go back in the ground. And it fixes the nitrogen that's in there where the roots were. So. Yeah, it's just really beneficial. It's pretty when it gets bigger like that. We we like it, so I'm I'm all about it. I'm gonna use it more in the right spots. It's kind of made it kind of pretty through here. You can see my peach trees are coming alive. I don't think I'm gonna get any peaches on it, but at least it's gonna recover from my pruning and I'll leave it alone. Same over here. This poor thing. <laughs> oh, this tree just ever since that first year. That was the last good year. I learned a lot on this tree, so if it does make anything in the next couple years, it has surely earned it. This comfrey also has got pretty flowers. See it? Just pretty to look at. Now, over here in my little herb section here, this is my cilantro. You see how crazy it's got. It's going to see. It's gotten so tall. Look at that. I got little flowers on it. Let's see if I can get back where you can see them. Hopefully you can see those. It's pretty, I'm gonna let it see, the little coriander seed, but that burn. I don't know if you can tell how tall, that's a, let me see if I can get back. This is a six foot tall fence. My head is right at the top of it. That thing's a good three foot tall almost. So, <coughs> and it has really grown a lot fast. Now, in all fairness, this, Parsley is swallowing this guy over here, which is a Sinezo bush. I call them Sneezies. And it's been there since last year. And it was just a little bitty nothing. And look how big and thick it is. I mean, I haven't done anything with it. I need to snip something off of it just to keep it going anyway. But dad burn. I mean, it is thick. Dad burn, it's thick. Oh, man. Get some of that old stuff out of the way a little bit. Down here in the midst of it is some more of that Thai basil. I'm giving it an opportunity to start, or I'm trying to. That may not go very far because of this other stuff getting so big. Now, if this, this basil's like that Genovese was last year, it won't have any problems. It'll come on up here pretty quick. But And I've got my beets. They're coming, just nice and slow. They really took their time. I figured maybe they'd come on, but they're so slow. And my big fat dog keeps on walking around here and stepping on everything. And she just relaxes and lays down on it in front of me. She's so proud of herself. And just drives me nuts. It is what it is. But I got a little bit of time and deal going on back here. The, the deals I'm, i've kind of got it in a little hole right now but i'm gonna let it grow on out i'm hoping it might seed and come back but see there's the time here's some deal doing all right and a pretty little clover right in the middle of it <laughs> all right and i got another fig tree first year for that guy see i've got this uh little tiny bit of crimson clover but this other stuff is like my natural weed right here. It's trash. Here's some more of it. And it 
is not beneficial in any way. It doesn't help with nitrogen, nothing. Only good thing about it is I could probably put it in a five gallon bucket, put some water and shut it up for about two months, turn it into some liquid fertilizer. But you know, it's just, it's trash. That's what I call it. Bunch of dead burn trash. And so I would prefer to have that clover, which is easy to grab up and got some benefit to it than I would that stuff. So this is one of those spots where I may throw all my seed off this clover as time goes on. A couple little strawberries there still making it. And the trumpet vine, I know it's a love hate thing. Everybody hates them. They can really take over. I've been staying up this one's rear end. So, but boy, it's pretty when they put out all them little bells. It's got some orange bells and stuff. And it's coming back and I'll tell you what else is. Also, this guy, it's the devil to many people around here. They hate it, wisteria. But I cut it back every year to keep it from getting too crazy. Several years back, we let it grow up and it covered this whole wall right here. Beautiful purple flowers and they stink. Oh man, they stink. But gosh, it's a pretty sight to see. So long as you don't have to be downwind from it, it's a pretty good deal. And here's the rest of my, pepper, my tomatoes. They're doing pretty good too. Everything's getting ready to get its first tie up and a little pruning. Not much, but a little bit. And I got, see, I got a little head of cauliflower. I don't think it'll make it very long because it's just it's getting hot fast. A little bit there anyway. You can see I've been molesting the lettuce and having a lot of help doing it. Look at the snails. I mean, they're everywhere. Dad gum things. I put that sluggo stuff in here and it seems to really have slowed them down. But the ones that are still alive, they're using this lettuce and stuff like Wheaties. All right, what we got there? I got a little baby one, see? Let's see, oh, Palka. See, this is one of them that got froze and it's coming back. Same with all these little ones down here on this end. They're, they're mostly coming back and the ones that aren't, it'll be all right. My spinach has got real tall, look at it. I need to just clip off what's on there and use it. Same with this lettuce. It's time for all this lettuce to go. Next video, you're probably not gonna see any. It's just that time. Look at this, how tall this one is. Gosh almighty. It's crazy. Look at that. Let me see here if I can show you how big that guy is. Let's see. There's a, what is it, a three foot sheet of that, uh, tarp down there it's stretch all the way across that and then some so it's a good three foot anywho squirt approves everything we think squirt we think we done we showed them enough yeah you had enough me too let's call it quits all right guys we're gonna call it quits we'll see y'all later till next time